Hi beautiful souls, this is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance welcoming you all to my channel. Thank you so much for your love, support and kindness. I was asked by one of my <laughs> subscribers to do a reading for the Divine Masculine. What does the Divine Feminine really feel? A love message from the Divine Feminine to her counterpart. So I am honoring your request today. So here are some channel guidance messages coming in from the Divine Feminine Collective and what she feels, what her journey has been, how she sees the Divine Masculine and all aspects of this journey coming from her heart, coming from the heart of the Divine Feminine. Dear Divine Masculine, you are the sun and I am the moon and together we complement and complete one another. Together we complement and complete one another. When I am connected with you, my Masculine, and we are connected together with our hearts to the heart of Mother Earth to the heart of Divine, we can create tremendous beauty. I know the journey has been difficult. There have been a lot of challenges. And when the night falls, there is darkness. And that can be scary. And we can't really see our path. But know that we are always connected. And together, we can create beauty in this world. It is time to let go of that sadness, that feeling of loneliness, and allow ourselves to rise above, to rise above all limitations, belief, rising in truth, in love, in light, and being truly who we are. Take that will, be strong. I look to you as the sun. It is your bright light that allows me to move out of isolation and I ask the same for you when you when you are not feeling like you have the power know that I'm here for you know that I'm always here we're always connected we're always connected in the heart source we're always connected within our hearts and it is that connection that brings in the stability, this joy, this happiness, this everlasting love that we feel. The everlasting love that we feel, that we are always connected. When we are connected, our chakras are aligned and we come from that safe space of love and light. I look in nature. And I look at the beauty around us. Anytime I'm feeling sad and alone because we're not in union. I find love, nurturing and care and allow myself for Mother Earth to fill me. And I want you to do the same. Anytime you are encountering this darkness, know that we are connected. We are never far apart. I want you to know that. I want you to know that, that I'm always sending this light and love to you. We are connected in through the divine. And as we do that, know that healing is occurring at the deepest levels. It's rising up. It's rising from this earth, from our roots, as we connect. We strengthen our bonds, we strengthen our root chakra and all that light starts to clear out our chakras and we're connected in the heart. We're always connected in the heart. I know that this darkness and the moon can take you to places where you cannot really see. You cannot really see a connection sometimes. 
you cannot really see our connection sometimes and that is because of Maya that is because of illusions but know that a connection lives forever and ever infinitely bound you just have to allow yourself to come out of this isolation and when you come outside of this isolation and you love yourself more and more and don't be sad don't be don't be sad don't allow sadness and our separation to isolate you from the beauty that surrounds you in the universe connect to this beauty connect in the earth connect in nature and you will find that we will connect soon and again always connected always feeling that healing between us takes place through our hearts as we open more of our hearts we allow this healing to take place my dear divine masculine I'm always there looking out for you and we have all this passion look at that I have all this passion for you for our connection for we are bound together as one with true love souls on this journey helping one another grow helping one another grow finding that joy and stability within us even when we are not together I want you to know that I want you to feel safe and secure and happy in who you are find that worthiness you are worthy you are worthy of the greatest love this love is bestowed upon us by God God is blessing the angels are blessing us but we can only come together in this union when we find that wholeness within ourselves we each have to be complete we cannot look to each other for completion we complement help one another grow we come together as one through the divine this is a divine partnership and this can be grounded on this earth only through the blessings of the angel the angels are here blessing us the guides are here blessing this relationship blessing this eternal relationship and this is the time I want you to connect with the moon cycles I want you to connect with the lunar cycles you you're going to get insights you're going to be guided on what steps you have to take how to move forward whether it is in approach in your career it is in your life know that I am always there in your heart space if you step inward we're connected in our hearts and success I know there is no greater goal than to love love is the answer to all and we are connected eternally in love my dear we are always connected in love it perpetuates forever and ever and love only grows deeper when we find that love within ourselves for ourselves for all others for all others and you have to trust in this divine guidance we have to trust in this love that perpetuates forever that whatever is unfolding is unfolding for our highest destiny our highest good and it is bringing us closer in alignment to who we are we are coming together in closer alignment to who we are as we allow and surrender and go with the flow let go of the sadness let go and come out of this hiding and allow this light to come forth we are eternal lovers Radha and Krishna twin souls soulmates forever forever we are that we are this I want you to know that I connect in nature and as I connect in nature I find all that energy that love that passion and together we have the strength 
to move our relationship, our connection to deeper levels. But we have to have faith. We have to have faith. We have to have faith and we have to trust in the divine providence. We have to have trust and faith in the divine guidance and divine timing. There, there is no greater goal than to love. These lovers are depicted as the Purush and the Prakriti, coming together as one, always together and united. The masculine and the feminine going hand in hand, never alone, never apart. It requires great strength and great trust for us to create this stability. And I know we have that. And I know we have that because I believe I am eternally grateful to the Divine for bringing us together, for starting this soulmate twin flame relationship together. How beautiful it is. If I had not met you, I would not have found this love within my own heart, my capacity to love my deepest capacity to love I have discovered only after connecting with you and is that not the greatest gift that one can have healing is occurring at the deepest levels we are healing each other whether it is through separation every step we take towards integrating our core wounds within our hearts, minds, and souls. We are releasing the limiting beliefs. We are releasing ourselves and arising out of the sadness and shining that light, shining this light. I trust joy and stability are our birthright. Joy and stability is why we are here. We are here to expand greater in love. I know that. And I wouldn't have discovered this if I had not met you, my divine counterpart, my divine masculine. I'm surrendering to this inner peace and I'm going with the flow. I'm going with the flow. I'm going with the flow. I'm letting go of past hurts, perhaps through our own connection, through connection of others, through our parents, siblings, friends, co-workers, where I've felt alone, abandoned, unloved, and unworthy, and perhaps you too have been experiencing that. But I know now, I know, know, I know now that this was all part of the big plan. This was all part of the big plan for us to open to greater levels of love. Now I know success is not defined in terms of material prosperity on how I look or how you look, how much money you have, what type of a status you have. I know you're beginning to see that too. You're stepping more into your heart source. You're looking at the value of life, value of who you are. You're beginning to trust yourself. You're beginning to trust your guidance. You're bringing, bringing to break free, you're beginning to break free from old chains and thought patterns that do not allow you to live from your heart's source. You're allowing love to rise above the fear, becoming fearless. Be becoming fearless to embrace this energy Krishna, just like that, he has a peacock feather. We are rising and ascending, allowing that consciousness 
connecting with Christ consciousness, connecting with the consciousness of the Ascended Masters. They're guiding us just the way you and I have met. There was a reason. I know that there was a reason we met. There's always a purpose to it all. And I trust. I trust in the divine. I trust in the divine guidance. I trust in my path unfolding for the highest good. I want you to know that. That I'm happy. I want you to be happy. Where you are, accepting your journey, accepting our journey as a part of the divine unfoldment. There is great love between us and it only deepens as we deepen that love for ourselves. I want you to be open, you and I may do things differently, see things differently. I may express things differently and you may express them in another way. We may be coming in from different places, but love sees no boundaries. Love is only felt in the heart. Love transcends all boundaries. Nothing can stop the feeling of this love. Be open and receptive. Be open and receptive. Trust. 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 Trust and surrender to the flow. Trust and surrender. I want you to have faith. True love can never be kept apart. True love transcends all barriers. Every obstacle and a challenge is bringing us closer and closer. Every obstacle and challenge is bringing us closer and closer. It is time to let go. Don't be, don't be dependent on others. Don't be dependent on other people's opinions and other people's way of being. Break free, break free, break free of all and come out and shine. Connect with the energy of the earth so we can find that love. We can find that love in our hearts. I love when we laugh and play and innocence. I love the purity of our connection. I feel so at home. I feel so much at ease when we are together. When we talk, your energy makes me feel so safe. It makes me feel so safe to love you more and more. I just want us to have fun and enjoy this moment of purity and let go of all past hurts, pain and wounds. Just be like children, forgiving and loving all that is all that is. Sometimes our beliefs, our strong beliefs keeps us apart. Perhaps we are separated because of our belief systems and we need to let go. When we feel that heart we can break free for there is no greater success than to love from the heart. Love sees no boundaries. Love sees no religions. Love sees no limits. But every step we take, every obstacle we overcome, we are coming closer and closer in union, together, together. And it is safe 
for you to express your love to me. I do love you. So it is safe for you to express your love. Perhaps you were taught not to. Perhaps you're afraid. I don't want you to be afraid. I, I feel so much at home with you. I trust our connection. I trust in the divine unfoldment. And I have been calling, I have been praying and calling in you in my prayers, in my dreams, wanting to have true love, wanting to experience true love. I ask dear God to please connect me to my soulmate with whom I can have this loving and pure relationship. To have this pure and loving relationship. Dear God, I want to experience greater love on earth now. I am willing to shed all barriers. I am willing to overcome all obstacles. I wish to experience true love and you are my true love. You are my true love. I want you to know that always in your heart. <sighs> that is a message for the Divine Masculines from the Divine Feminine's heart. May you get stronger in your heart and may you find that courage to express your deepest emotions to your true love and you're able to let go of limiting beliefs that chain you down, that keep you away from experiencing joy and love in the present moment. <sighs> Sending you love and light to all the Divine Feminines, to all the Divine Masculines. May you come closer in union and may there be a lot of love in your hearts. It is my wish for all of humanity. Sending you love and light. This is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance.